Hey, what's up, vinyl community? Uh, right back with another episode of uh, Record Stores Across America. Still in Los Angeles, California. Left Amoeba Records and found a store called Caveman Records. I am called our and I can see your fortune. Come see it too, located in Chinatown. Uh, find a place to park close by and I, I find Caveman Records. I walk into the store and I'm just hit with that smell, that record store smell that keeps me doing what I do. And uh, I, not only do I smell the vinyl records, but I can smell the uh, vintage electronics. Shelves of tube amps, uh, vintage Pioneer, uh, as you can see there in the picture. Just some awesome vintage guitars, vintage equipment and uh, amplifiers. It was just, it was just heaven. Uh, so it took some time to shop there and talk to the two store owners. Uh, Eric was one of the was one of the shop owners, and he had some uh, had another guy working there with him. Um, had a really cool collection of autographed albums up on the wall. Uh, he had collected this is his own personal collection that he puts up on the wall there, and I was glad he did. That way he can share. It. A lot of people tuck their collection away behind a locked door, and you never get to see it. He was willing to have his out there on display, so I really appreciated that. You can check out some of those really cool autographs like from the Standells and uh, the Stooges there. Uh, selling cassettes and digging through the records and just uh, had a really good time hanging out with those guys. So I was, I was shopping through and they said, what kind of music are you looking for? And I did, you know, I mentioned that I was looking for more of the, the uh, 80s, 90s metal. And they said, well, I've got something for you. They went through and they pulled out this band called Hyrax. It was this uh, LA band, LA thrash band in the mid 80s. They just never hit it big like Testament. Metallica, Megadeth, Anthrax, the big, you know, the big four. But these guys were really cool. So I ended up walking out with some local thrash from the mid 80s, which I thought was really cool. But this band's called Hyrax. Uh, you got the guys on the back there. And what I really like about this album is that the, uh, there's a, this, the album artwork is just awesome. It looks like somebody penciled this. Uh, and it's, it's a sign of the times. It kind of has that 80s feel to it, like you've been penciling or sketching there uh, in high school, your you know your high school English class instead of paying attention. But uh, Hyrax, and then it has this huge nuclear explosion going on in the background. These people's faces are just being melted off. And I just think it's just the epitome of thrash album artwork here. So really happy with that. Uh, and something local from Los Angeles while I was at Caveman. So also uh, got to meet some uh, people there that were hanging out and uh, caught this guy and met him, Dominic, and he ended up playing the guitar for us. So enjoy the uh, sights and sounds of the shop, and uh, enjoy Dominic playing his, uh, little, his uh, guitar song here at the end. Uh, record stores across America will be back soon, and uh, who knows where I'm gonna go next. Everybody take care out there, be safe. So sweet and we left.